Hello friends, let's study builder design pattern in C++ today, okay? So these are the contents. Why builder design pattern? First of all, okay? So that question, question should come first in your mind, okay? When you are going to build any design pattern. So you should be very specific why I'm going to build this design pattern, not that other design pattern, okay? And the UML diagram of the same and C++ code, okay? So let's look at why builder design pattern. Because I want to create an object, let's say plane, okay? With composing, oh, spelling is not correct, leave it, other complex objects, okay? So I'll be composing other complex objects like body or engine into the plane. And this is main important point, guys. And I want to create those complex objects step by step, okay? So that step by step is the requirement here. And the complexity is the requirement here. If your object is having lots of objects inside that, which we call composition, and those objects are very much complex to create, and there is a dependency between all those complex objects, then you end up building builder design pattern. Okay? So next time if someone asks you why you are building design, I mean building this builder design pattern, then you can just simply tell them, I want to create an object which is composed of lots of different objects or say complex objects and there is a dependency between all those objects, okay? So I want to create those objects step by step. Like first I will create body, then I will create engine like that. I mean first I will create body so that I can attach the engine in that, okay? So there is some dependency. So because of that only, the construction of this plane becomes little complex. So in that case, I will go for builder design pattern. And yes, the director will handle that. What do I mean by that? There is a director who will tell all the builders that you need to build in this way. So we'll see the code and we'll understand better, okay? So let's look at the code now. So this is the code now. Uh, so the question is why builder design pattern? I mean, why we'll be going for building this builder design pattern, not anything else, okay? So, and this is very important question guys, if you don't know what design pattern you need to implement, then you just don't implement anything, okay? So this is a very important question to ask before building anything, okay? And the answer for that is, because I want to build an object, which is let's say uh, a plane, and it is composed of complex objects like body and engine, step by step, okay? So I want to create this step by step. So this is the code for this. So this is your ultimate object. So this is what you will be getting, okay? So I have given comments for every uh, classes. You can just read out and uh, I'll be giving this code on GitHub so that you can just copy that. I will be giving the link on my description field, okay? So just don't worry about that. You can just put your mind here and enjoy the learning. So this is your plane. You will be getting this plane when your builder will be done, okay? So there are some attributes here, plane, body, engine, I mean, this plane is nothing but the type of the plane, what type of the plane it is, okay? So, this is an abstract class for builder. These are two concrete builders. So, propeller builder and the jet builder, okay? And there is a director. This is the magic stick here, okay? This is why we are using this builder design pattern. So, create plane is a method which will accept builder. And these are the steps. You need to follow these steps only, okay? You need to create any plane in this order okay and at last you will return the plane this is why you are going to build this builder design pattern because you wanted to build your plane which is this class step by step and these are the steps okay and you wanted different different planes so that we have different different builders for those plane okay so sometime this builder would be this propeller builder and another time it would be jet builder so that this builder is acting as a interface here, okay? So I don't think it is a big thing to understand here, okay? So the logic is this one. You will create a director which will direct the building process and there is this jet builder and the propeller builder, okay? JB, jet, build, jet builder and PB for propeller builder, okay? And I'm not doing anything. I'm just telling the director, create plane and I'm sending the builder. What builder I want to use to build the plane. So if it is jet builder, obviously the output would be jet, okay? And this plane is nothing but your final output, got it? The point is you will be using builder design pattern just because you need a director which will direct your building, okay? And different, different time you will pass different, different builder and those builder will build their own respective object. And at last they will just return that. So here is the director. Director is taking this jet builder. So jet builder will come here. You will call the jet builder related get parts. What is this get parts done? 
I will be creating this plane instance here and I will assign to that plane and after that we are calling this one build body then this build body will be called here so internally you are not calling just setting the type of body here so if it is jet builder obviously it will be building jet body okay oh my god jet engine I am doing body and body I am doing jet engine okay super here also the same problem engine okay so we are done here after constructing the whole plane step by step which is this step first you will get the parts done okay you will get all parts ready before starting the building and then you you will build the body after that you will build the engine so that you can attach into that so this is the whole process i mean this is the whole way of constructing this particular plane object okay that's why we use this builder design pattern and the main stuff is this director class here and at last you will just get the plane that's it so you are getting the plane here another plane here and just another show method which will nothing but just show the parts okay so this is that show method i'll be just showing the plane type body type and the engine type so i think you might have got the idea what i'm doing here and lastly i'm just deleting this and yes one more thing i wanted to tell lots of people are doing like this wait so if this is director they are keeping this builder inside this like this and whenever they are getting this builder from outside they are setting that builder first and then they are using that there is no need of using like this because what you might be doing like Sometimes you will pass some another builder like this in this case new builder or that jet builder okay now you created it here and you passed it now who will take care of destructing that and if you are creating the destructor for that then there is another problem see what is the problem here some same director can use two different builders right so propeller builder and now what you end up doing you created this director and you pass this jet builder and you will set that builder with jet builder and you will create the jet plane and you will return that okay that is fine now next time i am sending another propeller builder which is going here and getting set this builder here comes the problem where is that before builder jet builder was there no so you created it dynamically no so it's your job to deallocate it right so but you are not deallocating anywhere so to reduce all those problems i just created simply like this okay this is just a simple object so when the scope will get finished which is this bracket this will get destructed automatically okay and this jet and pro these are my responsibility whenever you write star okay or pointer in your program it becomes your responsibility to delete that okay it is not this create plane or the director's responsibility to delete the pointer what was written from here and assigned to this okay it's your responsibility you created this okay so you will be deleting that got it so i think i'm done here thanks for watching and check out my playlist so that you will get the design patterns like this and some interesting question on c++ okay bye bye